All right. Good morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. Afternoon for those who are uh, not here in the United States. Uh, thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us for the uh, webinar of Zenith. Um, for some of you, this will be uh, a bit of a refresher in some areas. Uh, for others, you'll get to see a, a handful of new things uh, with the Zenith system and with the company here as, as we take care of our customers. But we'll be going through a, a handful of, of new components and software firmware features to the Zenith system. Um, just a, a quick overview to our agenda for the day today. Um, we're going to take about um, five minutes to give a, a quick company background, just so um, everybody who isn't familiar with Interactive Aerial gets a chance to learn more about our company and what we do. Um, we'll then spend the rest of the time on Zenith, so about 25 minutes on the Zenith unit. Uh, keeping the webinar to 30 minutes today, uh, just to keep good use of everybody's time. Uh, and, and I'm going to hold on questions until the end. So we're going to do a 30-minute webinar, and then I'm going to stay on until we get all of your questions answered. Uh, but please feel free to type in questions uh, throughout the course of the, the webinar here, and I will get to all of them as we wrap up towards the end of our scheduled time here in about 25 minutes. So again, thank you for taking the time to join us. And we're gonna start off with just a, a quick background on Interactive Aerial and our company. So Interactive Aerial is a US-based company. We are located in Traverse City, Michigan. Um, our team is focused specifically on building robotic systems for confined space inspections. Um, we are based here in the United States, uh, but we do have distributors located around the world. Um, so as we, we look at that uh, global map, um, here in the U.S., we have a, a partner at Nexus that does our U.S. rentals. So if anyone is in need of renting a, a, a Zenith system for a job, um, you can contact our partners at Nexus that are based in Houston. I'm happy to get you connected there if that need ever arises. Uh, up in Canada, we have our partners at Intech NVE who rent and sell the Xena system, Spectus Robotics taking care of our European customers, Gammatech for our African customers, and then uh, Nexus at their headquarter office out of Perth, Australia, and then Singapore taking care of the Southeastern Pacific region there and uh, the Asian region. So um, all of these folks have the ability to rent and sell Xenus outright. Um, and and our, our team is happy to get you connected with the right folks um, if you would like to talk more about that. Specifically here at Interactive Aerial, we have two divisions. Um, our primary focus is, is on selling the Zenith hardware and then training an end user on how to use the system. Um, so that's most of our business. We have a small inspection service division um, that's not to compete against our customers or the inspection companies here in the United States. Um, we really utilize that for in-field trials. So for customers that want to see Zenith in their assets, we'll finish up the webinar today talking about that. Uh, but our service team can come out and help you see Zenith in the assets that you're familiar with. Um, and it's also a great way for us to do our research and development and use Zenith just like our customers are using it like to review the timeline just to point out the fact that Interactive Aerial started as a drone company. We delivered our first indoor uh, aircraft. It was a, a LIDAR-based aircraft back in 2018. That's what the driving force was for starting the inspection service team, uh, really bringing the drone to customers who didn't have the need to buy one. Um, that's what brought us to Zenith. The service team was in Chicago doing a job. We couldn't quite finish with the uh, with the drone, so we brought the prototype of Zenith and turned out to be a phenomenal solution for that inspection and many others. Um, our company now all in on the Zenith system. We shipped our first one in 2020 and just started the, uh, our deliveries of, of the upgraded Zenith last year. Um, that's with new electronic components inside of the three devices, the Zenith, the, the winch box and the controller. Not only do we have the Zenith hardware itself, but we also have the supporting software for the system. So our photo measurement software allows a user to take a high resolution photograph 
and then take some defect measurements from the inside of that photo. I'll dive into that a little bit deeper here in a few moments. And the location tagging from Zenith comes with all of those photos and post-processing. Here's an example on the right-hand side of a boiler. Uh, we took a photo of there. It gives you the depth down from the top of the asset, the heading that Zenith is on, the tilt angle of that gimbal, and then the LIDAR value, so how far away that object was when the photograph was captured. So have the supporting software for Zenith, not just the hardware device itself. An example of some of our customers here in the United States and beyond spend a lot of time in the chemical industry, uh, in the power generation industry, uh, civil municipalities, pulp and paper, um, started some other unique assets like wind turbine blades inspection recently. Agriculture is a growing space for us here in the US as well, uh, but excited to have these customers and many more um, in an interactive aerials um, pocketbook here. So what we're gonna do to start off the webinar today is, is just uh, cover a, a basic of Zenith. Um, we're gonna dive into just a couple of basic features for those who don't know the Zenith system quite yet. And for those who do, this will be just a quick couple of minute review for you. Uh, but as I mentioned, the, uh, the company started off as a drone company. So Interactive Aerial started with that indoor drone uh, for confined space. And we took all of that knowledge, experience, and education and brought that to the Zenith system. So although Zenith looks absolutely nothing like a drone, we utilized a lot of that drone technology to make the system possible. One of the big issues with lowering a camera on a rope or a GoPro on a rope, although that is a cheap and easy solution, um, you have a lot of twisting from that cable um, or the rope. So it spins around and you have a really hard time taking photos. The, the more and more I talk about this, I find our customers have, have tried that concept in the past and always seems to be the issue that people face. So how we got around that with Zenith is actually utilizing some drone technology uh, really based around the motors and the inertial measurement unit or the IMU for the stabilization system to prevent that spinning on the end of the cable. So, what that means is, is these paddles are in the inside of the Zenith unit. So the device that's currently sitting on the ground, I'll pick that up here in just a moment, uh, but we have two counter rotating paddles. So one up top and then one directly below, they counter rotate and produce torque. And that's what gives the Zenith unit a stable and accurate heading control. And that prevents that twisting or spinning from the, the camera um, like you would get with a GoPro um, or a phone or something like that. So as I pick Zenith up off the ground, the coax drive paddles are now on and in their idle state, they are pretty quiet. They're not too uh, overbearing there, um, but they're always fighting to keep this heading. So as I do things like hit Zenith off the heading, you'll hear those paddles throttle up and it's gonna fight to bring Zenith right back to the heading it was on. Or if I simulate some line twisting or cable twisting here, you'll hear the Zenith fight that as well. And that's what's going to keep Zenith locked on to that heading control or, or onto the heading it's on, excuse me, with the coax drive giving it that control. So I'll use the, the handheld controller here built into a rugged Pelican case. Um, we use the rotation rocker on the bottom to change Zenith's heading. This gives us the 360 degree directional control out of the Zenith unit. Spin this back around this direction and wherever I let off, that's where Zenith is going to stop and, and stay on that heading. Inside of, the, uh, inside of the gimbal here is a 30 times zoom camera. You can see here in the photo from the computer, in the center of the gimbal is that 30 times optical zoom camera. So as we show you what that looks like off the controller, uh, we have the, the tilt capability, 180 degrees ceiling to floor. Um, and then that 30 times zoom capability here. So I'll rotate Zenith and we'll look up at the ceiling, um, at the tiles there, uh, just to give an idea of that 30 times zoom. But that's the, the, the system that's built inside of Zenith there. Um, and I'm going to jump back over to the computer for just a moment to show you what those photos look like. 
So we have an 18 megapixel camera inside of Zenith. Um, that 18 megapixel camera is taking these still photos or it records 4K video. So you have the option to do either or there. Um, you have the digital zoom capability out of the camera as well. So not only can you mechanically zoom in 30 times, but you have that digital zoom capability out of the camera as well. Um, some exciting features now out of our um, out of our user interface. I'm going to jump over here. Give me just a second to trade between cameras. Just recently, one of the new exciting features that we released to Zenith was a complete overhaul to the user interface that sits here in the winch um, and on the controller itself. So I'd like to take a quick moment to look at what those features look like. Uh, makes it a lot more simple and a lot more access directly out of the homepage from Zenith. Um, so I'm gonna jump over to my mobile camera here and try not to give everybody uh, a motion sickness this morning. But this is our older user interface. So this is the, the, the old menu here. It showed the depth, the live heading and the LiDAR value. Um, this did not have any interaction capability. So you had to actually physically start digging into the menus to change things. This is our new user interface uh, or the new firmware. And now we've given users the ability to change a number of features and settings directly out of the home screen here. So you can see right off of that home menu, you have a number of features um, and, and um, commands that you can send to the Zenith system, whether that's depth related or heading related here, you can change that target. Um, you can double click these here um, to, to quickly toggle through headings and then change those individual if you'd like to drive Zenith to a particular depth and heading there. Excuse me to pop back up and get out of that, but you have those drop down commands on a number of different things from the home screen. Um, so that's one of the exciting updates on the new firmware. And then on the automation side, this is our other major announcement and, and release for Zenith is a complete overhaul to Zenith's automated menu. And I'm gonna show you guys an example of that in a few minutes. But now with our firmware, you simply answer some questions like down here, what zoom level do you want? What's the diameter of that asset? What's the height of that asset? And how far down do you wanna go? And that gives you the ability to uh, set up automation directly onto that home screen um, and not have to do the math on your own. You can do it right out of the controller there, which is a really exciting way to use Zenith very simply. You simply set it up, press go, and it does the entire thing for you. And we'll look at that a little bit more here in just a few moments. Two things on the computer we're gonna review and then we'll look at some advantages to using the Zenith system. I talked briefly about the photo measurement software and wanted to take a moment to look at this a little bit closer. I think it's one of the strongest features of the Zenith system. Uh, you have the ability to take those high resolution photos put them into our measurement software after that inspection is over. And then we have the ability to take very accurate quantitative measurements out of these pictures. So you can see here, the red dots are tracing out the surface area and circumference. Um, that's tagged on the photo. Uh, the green dots doing straight line distance measurements to give you uh, a very quantitative analysis of your defects. So it takes that subjective guessing out of the system um, or out of those inspection photos. So um, as you're sitting there debating with your fellow inspectors, you don't have to decide if this crack uh, or this corrosion spot is an inch or three inches. You can use the software to accurately say that. And then one of the big ways our customers are using this measurement software is actually tracking defects rate of growth over time. So as we come back next year, really capitalizing on that repeatability is going back to this measurement software saying, hey, return to this location with Zenith, take this same photo, and then let's put these next to each other and see how a defect is growing 
uh, between inspections. That may be every six months, could be annually, could be every 10 years, depending on what inspection you're doing. But the, the measurement software is a critical piece of Zenith success out in the field. The other thing in the computer that I wanted to cover and make sure that we, uh, we, we showed you guys today um, is our customer portal. And it's one of the things that we are uh, most proud of with the Zenith system and our customer experience. Uh, we've developed a number of, uh, of menus here in the customer portal. So as you onboard with us as an existing customer, you get access to this page of our website. It gives users the ability to purchase additional components directly out of our shop. So we can fulfill an order and send that to you uh, immediately or, or the next day, next couple of days. So our customers get the latest and greatest on the software and firmware updates directly out of this homepage. And the number one place I wanted to take you guys is our training. Something that we'll talk about next is the advantages to using the Xena system. Uh, the simplicity and ease of use is one of my favorites, and I think this training page plays a big role in that. You have the ability to view these training videos directly off of YouTube, or you can download them and save them uh, for use later on out in the field. Um, you have here 13 new training videos. We just released these about a month ago. And this gives our customers the ability to completely go from zero to 100 um, in less than two hours. It's all covered in these videos. And we also have the supporting documentation down below. So that's our customer portal that I like to spend a few moments talking to people about there. So those are a couple of the new features, new uh, uh, functionalities of Zenith and some of that basic setup. Um, the next few minutes and for the remaining uh, portion here of the webinar, we're going to look at the advantages to using Zenith, why some of our customers are choosing this system over more of a drone uh, or a traditional inspection where they're putting people in on rope access or scaffolding. So we'll spend a few minutes going through that. Again, feel free to keep putting in some questions. Um, as we wrap up in the next 10 minutes, I'll get to those questions and get you guys the answers that you're looking for. So feel free to put those in um, as the webinar is going in or going on, excuse me. So let's cover some of the advantages to using a, a Zenith system. So we're going to look through six of the key reasons why our customers are using Zenith. Um, and, and we'll look at these a little bit more in depth one of my favorite, and I think one of the biggest advantages to using Zenith is the fact that it hangs from the cable. So if you're going to take Zenith and push the temperature, or you're gonna push that limitation, maybe it's um, a chemical environment or a dangerous, dangerous hazardous environment, it's heat, um, you're concerned about wireless connection, those sorts of things. Um, there's a lot less risk than using a drone with Zenith because it's safely hanging from this cable. So you can push that temperature or you can put Zenith in one of those more um, concerning areas and still be confident that the system will hold up safely for you. Um, not just on that cable, but we have a number of safety features like the, the, the pin tethers so you don't drop objects from a height. And then all of the tripod tie off points here um, and the eye bolt underneath the tripod that secures Zenith during operation. We were very mindful of a number of safety features when we built the Zenith system. Moving on to our next point, um, we're gonna cover here, as I, as I discussed a few moments ago, um, one of my other favorite things about Zenith is the fact that it is very simple and easy to use. Uh, we have a few customers that went all in on the indoor confined space drone concept, but very quickly realized that Zenith has the ability to be even easier to use than drone because we're taking advantage, number one, that less risk, it hangs from a cable, and the fact that the controller simply has eight operational buttons on it. So we have very simple controls here on the bottom left are our camera controls. Go left, go right, look up, zoom in, take a picture. Then the go up, go down command is very easy to use Zenith. 
Uh, that's about 80% of the manual operation to the system right there. Um, it's very simple to use. So a traditional inspector that you rely on out in the field doesn't need to go get that drone license or that drone certification. They can pick up that Zenith controller, use it out in the field and feel very comfortable in a few moments with those eight operational buttons. The deeper you dive in is actually that menu that I talked about a few minutes ago. That menu provides a lot of automation and a lot of shortcuts. The more you know that, the even easier Zenith is, but it takes it a little bit out of that manual category. Moving on to our next point is the fact that Zenith eliminates confined space. That's kind of a, a natural point here for most people nowadays. Um, a lot of drones are eliminating confined space. As you can see from the picture here on my PowerPoint slide, uh, one of the exciting things about Zenith is that we can use the extension arm or the tubes there uh, to really reduce that confined space entry. And you can see here, Zenith has even made it through a, a small opening that clearly the unit itself would not fit through. Well, how we manage that is we pull Zenith off of the end of the cable. So we pull the Zenith camera off, use this retrieval hook on the end of like a broomstick or a painter's pole. From down below, you can grab that cable, pull it out of confined space from a lower manway clip Zenith on from outside and then put it back inside of the environment. So you can do inspections like this with Zenith where you're actually accessing assets that don't have um, top manway access. Um, I'll show you another example here is a chemical sphere tank where we drop the Zenith cable down through a small port and then achieve the inspection that way. I always like to highlight uh, this complex environment, um, this was a hundred foot shaft that had a, a grating deck covering the straight drop. We had to get over and access a hatch to get the remaining 90 feet of that shaft. This was fall protection grating. So we utilized the advantages of the tripod. We laid the legs out flat, put the gantry at a negative 45 degree angle and put all of the extension arm tubes on there to reach the remaining 90 feet and never break the plane for confined space entry. This is my favorite shot of what that looks like on a side profile. But uh, don't neglect how powerful the, the tripod and the extension arm tubes can be in some of these inspection environments. One of the other exciting new releases to Zenith and a, a big driving force for some of the developments this year is the additional payloads to Zenith. So putting sensors and payloads on the bottom of the device that go well beyond that standard visual setup. So I was talking about the 30 times zoom camera inside of the gimbal. Well, we have the ability to put a number of additional payloads. Uh, this is the, the Leica um, BLK to go LIDAR scanner we've mounted on the bottom. This is a recent new development for Zenith. Um, you can see the mounting bracket we made to put that on the bottom. This is the Emerson hover map. So LIDAR point clouds here um, that will, will get you that scanning capability to build models of the inside of environments that look like this. Uh, this is the inside of a gasoline floating roof tank. Uh, our older lighting payload, uh, there's the difference of lights off, lights on. And another exciting release, this is our prototype of the, of the new light. Um, this is a, a GoPro with lanterns versus Zenith with its new add-on lighting payload. Um, this will be released actually in the next week or so. Um, this is a 60 foot wide vessel with our new lights on the side of the Zenith unit. Um, they're on either side, convex lenses. So they're targeted to see a very far distance away but our new lighting payload for Zenith is doubling the visual range of the system inside of a pitch black environment. So with this 60 foot wide tank or 20 foot wide tank, or sorry, 20 meter wide tank there for the conversion uh, for my metric friends, this manway was only on one side of the outer shell. So Zenith had to see 60 feet across this environment 
And this is what the new lighting payload looked like 60 feet away uh, or 20 meters away. And this is with the camera zoomed all the way out, but you can see how well it lights that pitch black environment inside of uh, a larger space. So the new lighting payload gives us to the ability to double Zenus visual range. Um, the automation modes for Zenith, this is a really exciting feature for Zenith, something that we put out in the, the first month of Zenith being in the field. I'm gonna set Zenith up on a really quick automation example so you can see what that looks like. Um, and then after that, we'll be pretty much done with our webinar here. Um, but Zenith automation mode allows a, a customer to take a photo um, or cover an entire internal part of an asset um, without actually having to drive the unit. So Zenith is taking pictures on its own here. I'm not doing anything. So you can see Zenith is spinning around. I have it set up to stop six times. And every time it stops, it captures a photo, waits five seconds to review that, and then continues on to take the next picture. And that five second photo review, you can make sure it's the right, the right heading, the right zoom level, the pictures are clear, um, but this allows a user to capture 100% coverage without actually having to drive Zenith. You'll see the gimbal looks down to make sure it's safe for that descent and able to go down. Um, as it descends, it's gonna continue that same 60 degree in increment. Um, and it's gonna go until it gets to the very bottom of the environment or the asset um, and gives us the ability to capture those 100% coverage photos. I'll give you a quick example of what that looks like. Um, this is a, a data set. Um, you gotta think about this being the uh, two dimensional version of a three dimensional space. So it gives us the ability to unwrap that 3D area and lay it out flat on a table but we also have the ability to take these photos and put them into 3D photo stitching like photogrammetry and other uh, various softwares to get actually three-dimensional photo models out of our automation mode as well. Last but not least, one of my favorite parts of Zenith is the fact that it runs for hours, not minutes, like your traditional standard drone inspection would do so we have the average runtime on a Zenith battery is about two hours. You simply pop it out, put the next one in and continue on. But most of our inspections average about 30 to 45 minutes. So you don't uh, rarely push that, uh, that runtime. To close out our webinar today, I just wanted to talk about some next step capabilities. So as you uh, uh, build the interest internally with the Zenith system, you have the ability to rent the Zenith through our global partners. Our service team is happy to come out and, and do some trial work for you in the field or do that, excuse me, that inspection job out in the field. Um, so we have that capability to come to you and then obviously have the ability to purchase the hardware directly from our team or our partners globally um, through our distributors we highlighted earlier. And then the, the opportunity to always perform that Zenith demo. You're welcome to uh, come here to Traverse City to our office and do the demonstration here with our team, spend some time with our engineers that made the system, our sales folks that are responsible for getting people all the information about Zenith. And we can always, in certain instances and circumstances, set up that on-site demonstration for your team um, if that seems to make more sense for people. Well, I really appreciate everybody taking the time to join us today. Um, that winds down the end of our webinar here. Um, as we close things out today, um, I'd like to open up that period for anyone that would like to stay on the webinar and type in some questions. We'll be sure to get those answered for you. Um, if you would like to uh, log off or sign off here and, and continue on with your day, you want to honor that 30 minutes we put on the schedule, um, feel free to email me your questions later on. Um, so there's my email on the screen, uh, christian at interactiveaerial.com. I can get those set up 
uh, or excuse me, um, I can get those answered for you later. My setup part was actually um, a, a recommendation for uh, an easy next step that I didn't put on some of those other slides there, uh, but I am happy to um, set up one of these personal virtual demonstrations that, that would be live for your team as well. So we have the studio here, obviously have the ability to review a number of Zenith inspections and different use cases out in the field. We would be happy to do one of these personally for your team if it's easier to just bring you and a couple of your colleagues in to do one of these demonstrations as well. So uh, that may, may be another appropriate way for us to get some of your more individual uh, questions answered. So I wanna thank you all for taking the time to join us today. Uh, appreciate you joining the webinar. Hope it was informative to see some of the new and exciting things with Zenith and how it's used out in the field. We'd love to have you as a customer and uh, I'm gonna start the, the Q&A for anybody that has them. So appreciate you taking the time and, and let's get any questions answered that, that you guys have.